right here at 99 Ranch. I'm gonna get one of these bad boys, lobster. This is for the 99 Ranch home cook contest. Hi, right, what's up foodies? Quick intro, my name is Norman and I'm here doing the 99 Ranch home cooking contest. Today, I'm gonna be making a salt and pepper lobster. And although I'm not Chinese, I'm Filipino, but back in Hawaii, that's where I'm from, one of my favorite restaurants to go to is this restaurant called Fuki Wem, and they do like a $15 special lobster entree. The only catch is you have to dine in and you have to order at least one entree besides lobster and you can only get one lobster per person. Yeah, I'm not Chinese, but it reminds me of home and that is my favorite. Favorite Chinese dish. So we got one live lobster and of course 99 ranch. So the first part is you want a very very sharp knife. Sorry to all my vegans out there. So I just cut it straight in half. Uh, I know some Chinese restaurants they like to just cut the head off and then that's like the display. I take off the claw. And don't worry about all the guts, we're gonna rinse this out with cold water. That's just one of the benefits of cutting it before you cook it. And that we just wanna break open. You can cut it up however you wanna cut it up. All right, so of course I can't eat the lobster by itself. We're gonna make uh, jalapeno fried rice. This is something that I always do because I already have jalapenos and I just use the salt and pepper seasoning to the fried rice. And for our vegetables, I'm gonna be making some bok choy. These I'm just gonna saute with salt and pepper. Every Chinese salt and pepper recipe, we're gonna use garlic, green onion, and of course jalapeno. And we're just gonna mince our garlic and slice our green onions and our jalapenos. All right, now bok choy is done. We're just gonna plate that and put that on the side. And next we're gonna cook our fried rice, hot wok, a little bit of oil, and start with the egg. All right, onto the salt and pepper seasoning, very easy. We're gonna do equal parts, salt, white pepper, sugar, and MSG. Back to the fried rice, we're gonna do a little bit of our garlic and our green onions. And talking about rice, uh, today I'm using day-old rice, but you can use fresh rice if you want. It just depends on what kind of consistency you want for the final product. Once we get the rice clumps taken out, we're gonna add a little bit of light soy sauce that salt and pepper seasoning, and finally, the jalapenos and cilantro. And when this is all done, we're just gonna put it on the side and we are gonna cook our lobster. It's good. All right, we're gonna make sure these are dry and then we're gonna dust them with cornstarch before we fry them. While I'm coating these, I'm heating up a small saucepan with oil. I personally don't like to use a lot of oil, so I cook them in multiple batches. I fry mine on high flame for one minute on each side. And for the final step, we're gonna dry roast our aromatics for a couple of minutes. We're gonna add in our lobster, give that a couple tosses, our salt and pepper seasoning just to coat it all. And we're gonna to toss this very well so our seasoning gets evenly distributed and our sugar will start to melt so it could stick to our lobster. We wanna be pretty quick with this entire process. We don't wanna overcook our lobster. And at the end, we're gonna do a splash of soy sauce. Give that a couple tosses and it is done. Here we have our fried rice. I'm just topping it with the rest of our cilantro and green onion. All right, before I forget, one of the most important things about cooking lobster, doesn't matter if it's Chinese lobster or American lobster, do not overcook your lobster. The first time I made this dish, I was looking at it when I was frying it. I didn't look that golden crispy brown yet. I was like, I will leave it in there for a little bit longer. Don't do that. Do not overcook your lobster. That is the worst thing you can do. This is why it's still juicy and tender because it's not dry, it's not overcooked, okay? I cook them for a minute on each side. Don't worry about them being a little bit like undercooked on the inside. It's a fresh ass lobster, bro. You just bought it, I just killed it, we're good. And here. Here is the money shot. Salt and pepper lobster, jalapeno fried rice. It's not really Chinese, but it's bomb and it's vegetarian. My lime juice, chili oil, and bok choy. All right, what have we got our jalapeno fried rice. I'm so excited to eat this. Let's try Bomb. Lime juice. All right, let's dig into this piece. Cheers. Oh my God, that is good. Trust me, it's a lot of work. It's kind of intimidating cooking like a whole lobster, like a fresh lobster, but it's worth it. 
because every time you'd be buying like lobster tails, now it's frozen, you know, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be as fresh, you know what I mean? And if I cook for like my friends, usually I have like one more protein, but this lobster is enough for me, man. All right, we're gonna go a little bit of chili oil on the claw. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good, man. Mmm. It's such a shame that uh, like a lot of people, they say they like, they love Chinese food, but a lot of people have never even heard of Chinese style lobster. It's crazy, it's crazy to me. Like, if you like lobster, you need to get this one. If you ask me, it's the best lobster. If you live in Hawaii, go to Fukuen. If there's three of you guys, get two salt and pepper lobsters. You're welcome. You will thank me later, man. Like, my love for Chinese lobster is too strong, too biased. But I'm not even Chinese, see? Like, you gotta give me a little bit of credit. Like, this isn't like my culture. Oh yeah, this is the spot right here, man. Salt and pepper lobster. I mean, yeah, they got some other good ones. They got the ginger scallion, black bean sauce. Those are good too, but I think the salt and pepper takes the cake. Try it. Now this just became a mukbang video. You can go ASMR with it too. <laughs> Oh my god. This lobster was only $15. So like all of this, $18 worth of food, like in groceries. And this is the lobster $12.99 a pound. Sometimes it's $8.99 a pound at 99 Ranch. Go to 99 Ranch, check your local 99 Ranch. Sometimes determine if I buy lobster up according to the price. If I walk by, it's like $17.99, I'm like, nah. And if it's like $9.99, I got some people coming for dinner, like I right, can get one or two or whatever. Or if I'm trying to flex, then yeah, we're gonna get two or three. But if it's $8.99 a pound, you just gotta get it, man. Like, that's money. So like this is why I cut mine the way I cut mine because there's still meat on the head. This is a very messy dish. All right, last piece. Oh yeah. And I really hope you guys give this one a try. Let me know how it goes. All right, so this concludes the video. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, eat, cook, laugh. Peace.